Just going to make a very simple video. I had believed that I was having Wi-Fi issues with my iPhone 6 on my Verizon Wireless uh, Fios router. And uh, I was almost considering buying a wireless 802.11 AC router in order to improve the range and improve the connection speed. But if you are currently having problems with the Fios router or any other router, one thing I had noticed was I was only having problems with my home router, but I wasn't having any problems when I would leave home and go to um, public source routers. Um, all you really need to do is take your router, go behind it, look for the reset button, and simply push and hold the router button, reset your router, and it should be enough to fix whatever connection problems you're having. I did it um, before I was having a lot of trouble with my iPhone 6, after, and that was after the 8.0.2 update, that the most recent update. But now that I've reset my router, I'm having absolutely no problems whatsoever. Fortunately, I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to uh, reprogram all of my wireless equipment either. All I did was I just reset the router and I left everything standard, like the standard uh, SSID, and I left everything at the factory settings, and I didn't have another problem with um, it. used my uh, Okla speed test app in order to test the connection to my Verizon Fios router. Now, this is a it's 801.11. It's a it's a it's a wireless G router. It's not a wireless AC router. So it's not even wireless in. I may have to ultimately upgrade to a wireless AC router just to have better range, better uh, overall download speeds, but for the most part this is what I'm getting to the iPhone 6 using the 802.11G router. I'm wondering if I can improve this with AC, but as you can see, I have three bars, I have full connection speed within my home, and uh, as you can see, I get 17.84 by 17.48. When I've noticed when the television isn't connected, the uh, megabit per second connection goes up as high as like 25, sometimes 30. And um, I, I, I have no real connection problems. I have no lag problems. I have no issues with the 1080p coming out of my televisions. So um, if you are having any Wi-Fi issues, I just recommend that you reset your router. You probably won't have to do anything to your phone at all. And this is the Speakeasy speed test when done from one of my computers. New York, New York server. Now, Grant, you know, some I've seen some people post, you know, the megabits per second ratings that they get. The simple fact of the matter is, Fios is pretty much unchallenged when it comes to download and upload speed because you don't have to share your bandwidth with other users in your community. But um, I'm extremely happy with Verizon Fios. I've never, ever had to call them, I've never had a single problem. I fortunately I don't live in any areas with major tree outages or anything. So um I'm extremely happy with the service and um now you know my iPhone 6 has the 802.11 AC and you know the uh Mac has 802.11 AC so I'm definitely probably going to get a router. I don't think that Verizon makes a 802.11 AC router. So if they have a wireless N router I'm not going to get that. What I'll do is I'll just get or, um, AC router from like Micro Center, and I'll hook that directly to my Verizon router using the WAN port. But I, I think that's definitely what I want to do just to get a wider range of coverage and to get, you know, faster wireless downloading. But other than that, I have no problem with it. It's fantastic.